Let's make a video. What's up guys? Hello to everyone that's new from TJ's channel and thank you TJ for shouting me out in that video. It's huge. A lot of you guys are new. And I'm trying to, I'm going to explain a little bit of what my channel is going to be about from here on out. Um, it's not going to be just strictly car stuff, the Mazda Speed 3. It's good now, I mean, it's not going to be strictly gym stuff, like what I have been doing in the past. I want to make more of my videos kind of like day in the life style, just bring you on along with my day. If I think I'm doing something exciting that day, I'm going to bring you guys along. Maybe hang out with TJ or hang out with the crew in the garage. I'm going to bring you guys along. If I'm deadlifting or doing something cool in the gym, I'm going to show you guys a little bit of that. I'm going to hang out with Brittany, I'll show you guys a little bit of that. So that's my idea of what I'm going to do with the channel from here on out. Behind me right now is the gym. This is where I work out in majority of the time. It's my home gym. I've been working out here for about, working out for here for about eight months now. And uh, a little bit about myself. My name is Danny Courtney. I go to Cal State San Marcos. I've been there for three years. I'm in the kinesiology program under pre-physical therapy. So I am planning to go on into physical therapy later on in life, or I am also taking the classes needed to go into medical school, become a doctor. Not sure what I want to specialize in yet, but those are the two routes I'm either going to, medical school or physical therapy. And yeah, that's about it for schooling. And I compete in powerlifting. Um, I, I, so I compete, so I compete competitively in powerlifting. I just had a meet uh, about a little, un, a little over a month ago, and you guys can go check back on that. There'll be a link somewhere around here that I'll put where I have two videos on the powerlifting meet. So you guys wanna check out that and understand kind of what powerlifting is, a squat bench and deadlift is what it's judged on. You can get a feel for that. And that's what I do competitively. So I train in here to try to get stronger. All right, now I'm gonna deadlift a little bit and show you guys what's good. Getting a little hot. I'm probably gonna learn more from you guys about cars than I know about cars right now. And you guys probably don't know much about powerlifting or weightlifting, maybe some of you do, you probably some do, but maybe I can help you guys with form on squat bench and deadlift especially, so we can do like a little trade off thing where you teach me a lot about cars and I teach you about working out in a powerlifting style of fashion, if that made sense. I don't know, just an idea out there. Comment if you think that's a good idea, because I need to know more about cars, and maybe you guys need to know more about lifting. Let me know in the comments section down below. All right, so I'm trying to eat leftovers that I made yesterday that I put in the fridge, and what it is is this. Little taco meat plus cheese on chips, little nacho thing. But after you put the chips in the fridge, they get soft. So now I'm stuck with some soggy chips that are old and gross.
The homies. So I'm going to the mall right now to meet up Brittany, my girlfriend, and I'm heading over there a little early because I'm gonna get out of the car and talk to you a little guy, and talk to you guys a little bit about the car and kind of some issues we ran into. But yeah, I'll talk to you guys when I get to the mall and you'll hear about the car. This car, the new car, the Mazda Speed Tree. Tree or three? Three or tree? Tree or three? Tree. Time to talk. Here's side bay. Time to set this up so I can do a little talking to the people. Right on the tripod. All right, boys and girls. Time to talk about this car. Mazda Speed 3 2010. Just picked it up it's eight days ago. So I noticed there was an oil leak in the car. So I took the car into a shop, a good friend of mine, and uh, he showed me exactly what was wrong. Before I get into that, I also noticed that in the muffler, I mean like the exhaust pipe, there was black smoke coming out sometimes. So TJ probably, I mean TJ said, well it probably just needs a tune. And my dad said that as well, as in it's just burning rich. I wish that was the case, but it wasn't. Okay, because there's a lot of things wrong with the car. Nothing too extreme. There's only one big problem with the car and it has to do with the turbo. But I'm gonna go over what is actually wrong with the car and what I'm going to do to fix the car. When I was at the shop, the mechanic showed me that the turbo had a leak in it. There was oil coming out of the turbo and what the, the exhaust, what's coming out of the exhaust pipe is actually burnt oil, the black stuff, the carbon buildup or whatever. And he showed me underneath, it was really leaky and stuff like that. There, I guess it was just cracked or something like that. Also, the oil pan was cracked, so I gotta get a new oil pan. So I've been leaking oil like crazy the past few days, burning it slash leaking it. So that's two things I gotta fix. There's a fan belt in the motor. I mean, I don't really know anything about cars, but that's broken, that's really small. That doesn't cost a lot of money. And the rear brake pads need to be replaced. When I brake, sometimes it squeaks a little bit, so that was just a gimme. So the turp, so I have to get a turbocharger, turbocharged assy, a timing cover seal, the oil pan, and a fan belt, brake pad rear, so that's a couple things that are wrong with the car and it costs a good amount of money. And I'm just thankful that I have parents that, you know, can support me in this and basically essentially help me out and fix the car and buy the car. So that's something I'm grateful for, for sure. But uh, it's just kind of disappointing that I just got the car and there's things wrong with it. I know a lot of you guys are gonna say, oh, you should have got the car checked before you bought it. I know we should have, we didn't. Now we're playing with the consequences, but I did get this car for a really good deal. And, you know, it's just as if I didn't get the car for a great deal, I just got the car for the normal deal. Now, fixing all this stuff. It's gonna cost a little bit of money, but that's all right. All right guys, super exciting news. I just got something for the car that is probably the coolest slash best thing for me I'll ever get for the car. Now, I'm gonna always keep this in the car and it's gonna be really good all the time. It goes in my glove box, hint, hint. And it's a two pound bag of Sour Patch Kids. Woo! So good! These are gonna be hard to leave inside the car. But I'll stay strong. Or only live in the car and eat them all. Either one. Okay, forgot to tell you guys. Well, I'm out of the mall now. It's been about an hour, but uh, I'm bringing my car in to the shop on Tuesday to be worked on. And it said it'd take about two to three days. So Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday. Probably getting the car back Thursday. Um, it's gonna be a rough week going to school and everything because brings my spring breaks over and I'm gonna have to drive to school. So. Not really sure what's gonna happen yet. Um, yeah, yeah, I'll fill you guys in on that, but uh, yeah. Bye, bae. Mm -hmm. 
We go in the bowl we bowl. Tell us what that is. It's cheeseburgers. <laughs> I've never had it before. I'll give you guys an honest review. Here we go. This big plum. That place was a legitness because root beer barrels <laughs> and she actually ate all of her food which I've never seen before in my life. <laughs> Yay. <laughs> <laughs> Alright homies, I just got home. It's late, it's like 10.30 and I'm not a night person. After we ate, we just went to... Brittany's house and watch Fantastic Four the new one and it was so bad I started to fall asleep so that's pretty disappointing um, that's it like comment subscribe tell me what you guys think about the video what you think about the ideas in the video and see you later fellas for days, booty going up down. I ain't got no problem spending all of my money